Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannet Reviews, where today we're checking out a 2024 Benetto Antares 9 who was on display at the Suncoast Boat Show earlier this year. She's powered by twin Mercury 200 horsepower outboards, and for a boat that's 29 feet 11 inches in length, we have Bima 9 feet 10. It's got a very spacious aft cockpit, ideal for cruising and fishing. And you'll see that this one actually has rails in the deck, gives the seat slide forward or back, depending on which area needs more space. Speaking of space, look at that inside accommodation. The patio doors slide right open and you've got all that wraparound glass, giving you plenty of natural light and visibility. You've got a small galley at the side. As soon as you walk in, you get the two burner electric stove top, you've got the stainless steel sink. You're going to find additional storage underneath. And you'll even find a fridge with an ice box stored underneath the helm seat. On the port hand side, you're going to find that you've got a cockpit table here. This actually drops down and converts into an extra berth. You can also have that seat put it forward facing or rear facing, depending on what suits best. You've got hand holds in place. You've got plenty of drink holders throughout. You've got good headroom in here. And then you've got the helm to the starboard side. I like the fact that there's easy access to the deck, especially if you need to do close quarter maneuvering on your own. Now you see we've got full engine instrumentation, you've got the Garmin multifunction display, and then you've also got the VHF radio up overhead. This one's also got the Fusion stereo and there's speakers throughout, both inside and out. And for easy docking, this one's even equipped with a bow thruster. Up overhead, this has got the equivalent of a car sunroof. You can have it fully closed like this and you get extra shade, but you can have it slide it right open and you've got that light coming in and fresh air. And I was really impressed with the lower accommodation because I wasn't expecting for a boat of this size for it to actually have two cabins down here and the head compartment. As you can see in the front, you'll easily get two adults sleeping here in comfort for a weekend away. Plenty of storage, including hanging locker space. And this boat is fully air conditioned. But as I mentioned, this one's got two cabins. So you've also got an additional cabin, which is basically underneath the main saloon. And you've got another two berths in here. This one's also an ideal spot for using for additional storage if you wanted to, especially things that you don't want to keep out in the wet weather. Keep it safe and secure and locked away. And then it does have the separate head compartment. So you do have the toilet in here. You've got the fresh water sink. And then at the faucet, that pulls out and becomes a shower head and you can mount that high up and have easy access to the shower. For fuel, this one's got 79 gallons to both port and starboard and it's got a total of 42 gallons fresh water. For a weekend in the water, whether you're looking at cruising or fishing, I think this is a great option to consider. From a price perspective, MSRP was 277510 but it was on sale for 249537 a saving of over $25,000. Appreciate you watching the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.